Akadi Grekovic Rosovic, a weapon and supervillain mutant better known as Omega Red. With his carbonadium coil, he can either slam his opponents or perform an energy drain. And according to Jews Marvel 2 tier list, he is currently the second placeholder in C tier behind Ruby Hart. But what is it about Omega Red that leaves opponents in a state of disarray? To find out, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Omega Red move list for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Omega Red moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, let us first take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is a move called a Carbonadium Coil. This move is Omega Red's tentacle attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. This attack hit once, but there's a few things that can be done when you catch them with it, but more on that a bit later. The Carbonadium Coal is generally full screen range with the light punch being thrown horizontally and the fierce punch is tossed at a 120 degree angle. Omega Red can perform this move at a 90 degree angle by pressing both punch buttons. So just do a quarter circle forward and press both punch buttons and he'll throw it straight up. Also, he can do the carbonadium coil in mid-air as well. Press fierce kick while in mid-air to do a 120 degree coil that's aimed downward at the opponent. And also, you can press both kick buttons while in mid-air to throw the coil straight down. There we go. And finally, to retract the coil at any time, press the punch button again while performing the move. These are the moves Omega Red has access to after a successful carbonadium coil. To do the coil throw, press any direction plus any punch. To do the double coil, do a quarter circle forward plus any punch button, then press any direction plus any punch button once more. So it looks like this. I find that it's easier to do the double coil throw when pressing down and punch. To do the energy drain, tap the punch button. The energy drain seals your opponent HP and add it to your own. To do the death factor, tap the kick button. The death factor seals the opponent meter and add it to your own. So, the Omega Strike is a multi-directional attack just like the Carbonadium Coil. To execute this move, do a quarter circle forward plus any kick button. This attack is full screen range with a light kick version going in a horizontal direction and the fierce kick variation travels in a 120 degree angle. To do the Omega Strike in an upwards direction, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. Here we go. Yeah. 
Via Mega Strike, it's a fast attack with range and power. Also, it's a great combo finisher. To cancel this attack at any time, press down and the kick button while performing the move. Okay. To retract the Mega Strike, press back and the kick button while doing the move. So yeah, Omega Red can, he can cancel the attack. Or, or he can retract it. Omega Red has three throws in this game. Press forward and furious punch to perform a power bomb. Press forward and fierce kick for a body toss. And press forward and fierce punch while mid air for a falling power bomb. Okay. So Omega Red has two ways to do the launcher. The first way is by tapping twice on light punch. The launcher is on the second hit. The second way is by pressing down forward and fierce punch for the standalone launcher. The launcher is a bit on the slow side, but it has great range. Omega Red has two command normals for this game. Press forward twice in mid-air to do the air dash. To do Omega Red's ground tentacles, press down and fierce kick. You can control the range of this attack by pressing down forward and fierce kick or down back and fierce kick. You can do a Mega Red Stomp by pressing the select button. If you're playing the Dreamcast version, then press like kick plus start to do the taunt. So the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Omega Destroyer. Omega Red would do an attack with both of his tentacles extended. To do this move, do a quarter circle back plus both punch buttons and it looks like this. The Omega Destroyer is a great hyper and it almost filled the entire screen. This hyper can be used to catch ranged opponents off guard and the same can be saved for their assists. The Omega Destroyer has a bit of startup time, so this is really not ideal to be a combo finisher. Up close, this hyper is very devastating. Make sure to match on the buttons for more hits. The second hyper I would like to cover is called a Carbonadium Smasher. This is the move where Omega Reds does an automatic air dash. If he connects, he would then go into a rush attack that does great damage. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle back plus both punch buttons while in midair. The Carbonatum Smasher has great range for zoning tactics and you can do this move from air dashing. Also, it's very possible to throw the enemy into the air with the carbonadium coil, then catch them with the smasher before they land. There we go.
Here's an easy combo for you to practice with to make a red. Jump in with Fierce Punch, then hold down and press Light Punch, Light Punch, Fierce Punch, Quarter Circle 4 plus Light Kick. Feel free to add an assist to spice things up. Here's what to expect when you use Omega Red as an assist character. Omega Red's Alpha Assist will attack the enemy with a Fierce Punch, Carbonadium Coil. His Beta Assist will use a Fierce Kick, Omega Strike. And his Gamma Assist will perform a Ground Tentacles Down Back Fierce Kick variation. Overall, Omega Red is a fascinating fighter. This character is all about precision and knowing how to use his multi-directional attacks. But in all honesty, there's really no real set way to play with him. He's all about adaptability and playing against the enemy tactics. He has the tools necessary to play keep away as well as applying pressure where pressure is needed. Also, he's excellent at meter building and with his speed, he can close the distance between him and the opponent quite easily. With that being said, here are some tips to help your gameplay with the Mega Red. The Aerial Fierce Punch and Down and Fierce Punch is very effective for meter building and starting combos. The Ground Tentacles can be used as anti-air and they're the same height as the Mega Red. Also, the ground tentacles can snuff out fireballs and interrupt opponents from casting them. Omega Red is not great at chipping damage, but his Omega Destroyer gets the job done. Whenever using Omega Red as an assist, make sure to use the Alpha One, which is the Fierce Punch Carbonadium Coil. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.